will be Dalton and Suna, then Shredlock and KSA in the tank lines with Rolf and Karkar on support. So we'll see just how well these guys can do and what kind of numbers they can put up, if not get that match victory because again here in the may tournament as many wins as you can possibly get it's going to be very important for you to try and take home some of that cash money so we'll see just what uh what these guys can get done here on the day taking a look at our map set however it's going to be okay i can hear you i think i'm back i think i'm back i restarted good. everything um not entirely sure what what my issue was but i apologize to the fans for that I can um, think of a few issues that you have, but it might not be. Relevant. Might not be related to this one, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just uh, I was just talking uh, people through the starting l lineups and then the map set. Cancel it with his own, but actually he was still in EMP cast, so he actually ended up doing himself a disservice. Doesn't matter though because they eat the pulse bomb and still win the fight. Yep, now Suna just going to be eliminated, doesn't get an opportunity to build up much in the way towards that next EMP. Just going to be sitting at 25% of BQB, lapping him, despite losing out on that EMP in the last fight. So the strike does manage to find Chris, and Gargoyle gets sent off the side of the map by Karkar. So really good capitalization there as he tried to get back through into that mech. And this is going to be the cleanup, so Titans do regain control. He's doing a great job. Yeah, so far so good. Kind of been flying it a little bit under the radar as far as the Echo is concerned. He gets the shot onto Dalton through the Dragon. Very nice, follows up for a body shot. Another headshot onto Suna. Now he's pushing up for the high ground. In the meantime, KSA does manage to find two. Breaks down the front line. He'll get a third as Yaki gets eliminated. BQB continues to hunt, but will have to peel back. Was discorded. Projected barrier. I don't think he's going to be able to kill KSA this time around. Gets the Orb of Harmony, yeah, appreciate Ann, and there you go. <laughs> we'll finally BNQB. get a huge moment for uh, the mayhem that they didn't lose him there. But look at this. Look at how he plays around the shields. I love to see that type of Widow play in this meta. Yeah, I mean, he's just kind of waiting for the rest of his team to reroute the members of the, the Florida Mayhem and then get the shots off from there. So knows that uh, they're going to be routed through the building and then instantly gets rid of Gargoyle as he exits. Soon and out looking for a couple shots. Does get the tag onto Chris. Sets up for Wolf to find yet another kill. And this is looking like a successful push into A now for the Vancouver Titans. It took them yeah. a little bit of time, but they'll still get that two and a half minute bump up right here and move up above four minutes. Here with the blizzard. Yep, right here onto the high ground. The bongo gonna be the first thing to fall. KSA frozen for the moment, but is safe. But same cannot be said for Dalton. It's BQB. His arrow flies straight and true. Very close quarters, right up in front. Dragon Strike coming through from Suna. I thought maybe he was actually going to kill somebody with the arrow itself off the ultimate, but instead, Dragon will just go ahead and claim Gangnam Jin, who had no way of getting out of there fast enough. So it's think, taken uh, down, and Gargoyle pushed into a corner. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the exact pace yeah. that Vancouver needed. That was the KSA. biggest slow point Florida had. Yeah, KSA just taking over that high ground. Coalescence coming through, but Gangnam Jin instantly stunned out of it by the accretion. Fantastically done by KSA, and you can see just they allowed him to get in that position. They did not respect his wraparound, and now Dalton is just sitting in a shooting gallery. Manages to take down two. Gangnam Jin is well going to fall. The kills very much coming in favor of the Vancouver Titans as that cart starts to inch forward, but now KSA on the back end still gets another kill. Uses the kinetic grasp and helps take down Chris. You've got to respect uh, this new roster more than I think Florida made. Like, look at how much damage you take just trying to walk out. Yeah, supercharges doesn't last very long and might just have to wait out the rest of this infrasite. Gargoyle taking quite a bit from the flux. Now going to be using one of his own. The Transcendence just going to be popped right off the bat here from Rolf, despite not much damage coming through onto his teammates. But Suda lines up a very nice Dragon Strike. Gets himself a Quadra kill at the end. Almost Echo gets another one there on the back end. Yeah, he chased down KSA like really far. Be able to get it this time around here on the ult, so we'll just end up expiring. They buy a little bit of time. They secure a superior time bank, at least for themselves. But the cart starting to inch forward yet again as Car Car manages to find a kill on the fate, getting rid of that Orisa. Gangnam Jin uses the transcendence, pushes over to the cart. Just trying to keep everybody alive as best as possible, but Chris gets taken down and will be allowed to glide in. So barely.